Can this little thing make your paint better? We're about to find out. All right, that little device is called a Vortex Mixer, and I'm going to go into my review of this Vortex Mixer, and I'm going to show you one little tip that I got to make it even better. And so follow along. Let's roll into what we're doing. All right, guys, y'all ask, why do I need a paint mixer for my paints? Well, take a look at my desk right now. And any given day, it may look something like this. I have a lot of different paints, and they do need to get shucking All right, up. this is uh, one of the Createx Illustration Tim Gore Bloodline colors. And if you guys, any of you guys know, these things separate faster than a couple that got married drunk in Vegas. I know you've done this with some stubborn paints before. I built these guns, you see. No flab there. Shaking up paint. So, how does Vortex worker, Vortex Mixer work? Well, it actually swirls the paint like this. People get the idea it's supposed to spin, but that's not what it does. It orbitally moves the bottle around like this. So what it does is it spins it, creates a vortex, and mixes the paint together. So I've got this bottle of reducer out here. I know that's not paint, but I wanted you to be able to see exactly what happens when you mix these up. Uh, the full thing, you wouldn't be able to see it. So what you do is you put your bottle of paint there and you press down like this, it kicks on and see how it stirs the paint, mixes it. And of course there's no shaker inside this because this is just reducer. When I first got it, I was mildly okay with it but i realized that some of the problem would happen is when you would put the bottles on here they wouldn't stay here this is designed for a test tube so you would put the bottle on here and notice that's a little bit flatter and of course the even the you know the bigger bottles are even more so and so you put it on there what happens it starts to but then it quickly wants to rotate off and i've seen guys review these and they do all this gymnastic they lay the bottle on here sideways and you know, that works, and they, they go like this and put the bottle in there. And, and that can work, but I found a much easier solution. So what I did is I got some hot glue, and I just took some hot glue on the bottom of one of my bottles, and I piled up some hot glue until it had this little cone shape in here. Now, this little cone shape sits down and allows my flat bottles to not move around so much. And if I'd have made it for the Wicked bottle, it would have been even better because I could have molded at the bottom. But now it works for any of the bottles that I use. And you can hear that ball rattling around inside and tell how well that's getting mixed. So I've also found that maybe, you know, instead of trying to lay it down, sometimes I will actually pick up the whole thing if I've got a really, really separated bottle and I'll pick it up like this and use it this way and I can tilt it and you can hear it you can hear it splashing all that liquid up inside there if you get a real hopefully this shot will show how the paint is splashing up on the edges all the way around picking some of that up so we're not just dealing with some of my regularly used paints I thought I would go get one of my boxes of paints that I keep off to the side and I promise you guys I don't get anything out of Createx I know it looks like this is a a review for Createx paint. I just use a lot of their stuff. So you can see how separated that bottle of paint is. Like I said, these uh, Bloodline, you know, they're really notorious for separating and separating pretty heavily. So we're gonna run that through and see what it looks like. Real quick before I do that, I wanna point out that I will leave a link in the description below so you guys can find that. It'll also be pinned in the comments at the top. And to remind you guys that if you're liking the content you see, remember to subscribe and ring the notification bell and you have to be logged into YouTube for it to send you notifications so that you guys know in the future. And let's get back into this. And so you can clearly see how quickly that will get in there and get a solid mixing of the paint in just seconds. And even more so if I pick it up like I was talking about and I want to do like this you know with an older bottle of paint like this I can be assured that I have great mixing even more importantly as your bottles get down uh, this bottle is about this full as your bottles get down it's even more important to mix them up more and more because you know pigment settles over time and so that's partial bottle you can see 
you can even see the ball hitting there, I'm sure, in here and there. And yeah, a few seconds and we're done. All right, guys, I got one more clip, one more test to show you guys that I think you're really going to want to see. But before I do that, I want to point out how much better this is than a lot of the other methods like using a sawzall. I've seen homemade sawzall shakers. Uh, this does not aerate the paint like a shaker does. Also, sticking sticks in there and stirring it up, you know, that's a lot of wasted paint. This way, you're not wasting any paint when you mix it up. And as I may have pointed out already, it does make a difference in how smooth these paints flow. I wanted to go through that test and find out before I brought this to you guys. It truly, actually getting these paints stirred up like this makes a difference in how less, how smoother your paints flow. All right, so this is some um, hobby paint, some Craft Smart paint, and that's metallic. And you see how dark green that is? And look at the lid, well, that's the color it should be. So we're gonna put this on here and see what happens with this big bottle of metallic, which is way, way thicker than the airbrush paints we use. Also, bear in mind, these don't have a little metal ball inside them. So I might run this just a little bit longer, but just just show you that this can work even without that. Since this doesn't have a ball, I decided to lay it on its side. Um, you can probably hear over the sound of the thing, you hear that splashing. You know it's, it's moving some paint. And realize these are really thick paints. These are craft paints. As you can see, that's got that completely thinned through. And these paints have been sitting for a very long time. All right, so you guys are gonna ask me why I bought this one. Um, just go ahead and tell y'all, uh, this was under 60 bucks on Amazon. I'm gonna leave you guys the link down below. And the reason I picked this one is because Amazon has a very, very good policy on it in which that I could use it for two months and return it for any reason whatsoever if I didn't like it, almost two months. Um, and as many paints as I have, and I knew I was gonna go and mix up all my paints, hey, I know, if I'm gonna break it, I'm gonna break it within two months. All right, guys, hope you got something out of it. Hope this was informative for you guys. Believe me, this is a game changer. I will tell you, it actually makes a difference in how well your paints flow. So it truly makes a difference, especially if you're used to doing like me, which is shake it for three or four shakes and then call it good. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, you know how to hit that subscribe button, notification bell, all that good stuff. Like, share, comments, be awesome. Anyway, guys. We're out of here. Y'all have a good one. Bye.